someone who is actually innocent, like Brendan Dassey. When you have an innocent person sentenced to life behind prison, that's exactly the situation that the clemency power was tailor-made to address. This is a case that federal judges have called a profound miscarriage of justice, and we're calling on Governor Evers to remedy that injustice today. Um, welcome everybody. I did this kind of impromptu um, live because um, uh, look, today is uh, Eric Cozy, Richard McAdams' birthday, um, and I just wanted to share some thoughts that were on my heart and mind this morning. Um, and then also share a video. I made the video last year, so the video is already on the channel. If you guys also want to go look at it on the channel. Um, but I just wanted to share some thoughts. Um, I'm bad with time and dates, so I might be very wrong when I say, but I think it's been two years now since he's passed. Um, this is, I think, maybe his second birthday from us um, and it's just so crazy to me that um, one that he's still gone I when the day that I found out that he passed I was in uh, very much denial I thought it was a weird like really awful and weird joke but it really wasn't um, it's just it's it's been crazy that he's been gone this whole time and um, yeah, he's, uh, he was a big inspiration to a lot of us uh, supporters. Um, I didn't know him very well personally. Uh, we spoke maybe here and there, if even. I met him at the 2019 rally, and uh, he was live, and I kind of like uh, – waited until he <laughs> did the creepy thing that I joke about doing where I kind of just looked at him for a distance. I was like, oh my God, it's Eric Cozy. And then I waited until there was nobody really around him. And there was never a moment he did. He wasn't live. I don't think like, I think he was live the whole time. And I was kind of uh, very nervous. I hadn't started a YouTube channel yet. I wasn't super comfortable. It was the first time at the Manitowoc rally, not, rally rally like I've been to other Brendan rallies but this was the first time at the Manitowoc rally so I was very nervous and I I kind of like ambushed him from behind and handed him a little painting I did um I still have a painting, a painting of it but I gave those out to people that year for free um just as a I don't know just as something I wanted to do for everybody these little Free Brendan Dassey paintings. Um, I gave it to him, and and I, uh, I guess he's awkward too. So like I was just like here, and then I kind of like scurried away, and then he, he was kind of like, um, thank you. <laughs> and uh, but he, I, I don't know, like I didn't really notice um, if he like admired the painting or anything, but it wasn't until after his painting when I noticed that he did put it up in his back wall in his YouTube studio. So um, that kind of touched my heart after the fact. I mean, I kind of felt, I don't know. I feel all sorts of things about this whole thing. So um, I wish I gotten to know him better like everybody else did. Or not everybody else, but like how Linda knows him. He seems like a really great guy. But as a supporter, I will say that uh, he is a big inspiration to me as a supporter because what he did as a supporter was very profound. He, um, with his YouTube channel. So that's the other thing. If you guys want to check out his YouTube channel, it's still up. Um, he's very, it's still, I mean, I think it still gets views and stuff. Like it's very, good content he uh let's see i believe it's called air cozy on, on making a murderer let's 
So um, here, let me. So if you guys want to check out his channel, you know, he's got some great videos on the case. Um, he's uh, reviewed um, all sorts of different kinds of stuff. Um, and he was starting to get into other things, too. So, um, yeah, I would definitely check it out. Eric Cozy on Making a Murderer. But yeah, he was an amazing supporter. He One of the things he did was, I don't know if you guys noticed in the, um, sorry, <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, um, or some of us older in the community noticed, but he made actually these t-shirts that talk about the control question for Brendan. Ask me about the control question. And one of the pictures I actually have up on on this video for the back cover of the, here, let me, I'll just bring it up because I actually saved the picture while well, I was making the picture, but um, hold on. But yeah, he was talking about the control question. And that's, that was, um, that's in his videos. And that's, it's actually something that is really significant in Brendan's cases because Brendan didn't obviously know things. Um, and, they asked him a control question and he obviously failed it but they kind of ignored it but he has this t-shirt that he created that it was only limited supply i didn't get the chance to get one i wasn't big on youtube when he was on youtube i not until after his um yeah i got on youtube with linda before he passed and then I was more on it then, but I was kind of hoping Linda would be up and join me because I know she would have more to say as far as him as a friend. But as a supporter, he was amazing. Yeah, this is the t-shirt. Ask me about the control question. So there he is, and there's Steve Drizzen, and there's Laura Nyrider. They he went to, I believe it was Australia, and um, I might have a better picture. No, do I? Do I not? Oh, now it's back to pop up. Of course. Oh, that's why, because I didn't open it from the folder. Radio silence. But yeah, he. This was him and um, this was him and uh, Paul Capaldi. I believe they were in Australia during this, and um, they went and saw Steve Drizzen and Laura Nyrider when they did their speaking tour in Australia. So that was pretty cool. Um, that's where that picture, I believe, came from. Was when they he were they met, and he gave Steve Drizzen that shirt. There's him at the rally. This is the rally that I met him at. There he is. So, but yeah, he um, an amazing person, amazing supporter, and uh, I know I miss him as a supporter and um, and what he did for Brendan and for Stephen. Um, I know. His loss is really profound amongst his close friends, people like Linda, Paul. Hey, Carrie. But yeah, um, so enough of me talking. I'm gonna go ahead and um, play the video. I 
have been doing YouTube videos since roughly August, September of 2016, about... But that's it, my passion for this is gonna pull me through, and it did, it has. I get a lot of messages from people because I've become pretty popular on YouTube, and I get a lot of messages from people asking me to look at things and that. It's also important to remember to take time for yourself, so I also do that as well. But. It's something that is a very big deal to me. I talk about it often is don't just react. Dig into the documents, educate yourself, know what you're talking about. We don't want to be seen as name callers. We don't want to be seen as troublemakers. That's not what we're looking for. So that's what I would encourage everybody out there. Outraged as you may be, measure it. Criticize what you have a problem with, but do not make it personal or anything of that sort. Be understanding of each other. Be kind to each other. So yeah, like I said, I, I made that video last year for his birthday, um, and uh, I didn't really, um, I don't, I didn't really make another one. I felt like making another one, to be honest, I feel, I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I just also want to say that my heart and love goes out to everyone who's hurting today. I know it might be a hard day. And, I hope that people can celebrate today in a way, uh, celebrate for him. Yeah, he was an amazing supporter. Um, like I said, go check out his channel, Eric Cozy on Making a Murderer. Um, he's got some really great stuff on there on Brendan and Stephen. Um, Here we go. Oh, it's not what we need. Yeah, here's all his videos. Um, he talks about other things too. You know, there's other things that uh, he talks about. And here's a um, he uh, the last time. The reason why I thought it was a joke that he died because the day before he died, me and Linda were on a live together and he popped into the chat and this is what he was actually talking about. He was talking about an event that he wanted to do in Madison um, in October in front of Governor Evers' office. He was very passionate about Brendan. He, he supported both guys, but he was just very passionate about Brendan and he wanted to have a little rally in October in Madison and um, I was planning on going to it. Uh, but um, I, I, it just, he died like literally the next day after that live. And, um, and then that kind of just didn't happen. Unfortunately, and um, I think that's kind of, um, for me personally, that's why I'm really big on the Madison. I don't know. It just feels like it's it's for him too, you know? Like the rally in Madison is also kind of for him. Because um, that's something he really wanted to do. And I'm proud to do it, you know? I actually, his aunt Sherry sent me a button that has Ericozzi's face on it. And um, I'm very proud to wear it at the rally and bring Eric Rosie with me. Um, hi. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Claire. Yeah, he, um, he, he, I, I mean, I'm, he was a human just like the rest of us, but I've never heard a bad thing about him. So, 
And from my experience of interact, like I said, uh, I'm not, I was never close with him. Um, it was very, um, I'm a very shy person. <laughs> Sometimes if I'm not comfortable, um, I, I become very like chronically shy and I think he was too. So there really wasn't anything, you know what I mean? Unless it had something to do directly like uh, with Brendan or something, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, a, I, it's kind of weird how to explain it with me. Like if I consider it, like I used to work in food service and at the hospital and stuff like that. So I interacted with a lot of people and in my brain, even though I'm a shy person in my brain, I'm like, that's my job. You know, you got to do your job. And I kind of consider what I do for Brendan my job. So, like, when it comes to communicating with other people about Brendan, that doesn't bother me. But anyway, it's, it's just different when it comes to personal stuff. But, um, yeah. I'm, I was shy. He's shy. Um, so when we did interact in person, it was very brief, very, like, here, here's your painting. And then I ran away. So <laughs> I wish that it was I wasn't I wish I got to know him better because he seems like a really amazing person like that. Um, but yeah, he's got lots of stuff on here, years worth of stuff. Um, for you guys to look at, to go over when it comes to um, when it comes to all sorts of different cases, not just Brendan's case. He talked about a lot of different things, as you can see. He talked about George Floyd. He did an interview with Amanda Knox. Isn't that amazing? Amanda Knox. Um, just all sorts of stuff. I'm trying to see Ricky Kidd, which um, Ricky Kidd did this challenge. We are... Re resilience um which i thought was amazing um hey hi shaken but not stirred but yeah he did this amazing um ricky kid did this amazing um uh thing when he came because so, okay back up a bit ricky kid is a, a wrongfully convicted man who spent 23 years incarcerated in st louis my first date uh, for a crime he didn't commit, and then he got out. Um, Ricky Kidd is another big inspiration for me as far as how he um, how he views life and what he does. He now he's a motivational speaker. I would love, 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 love to interview Ricky Kidd on this channel, you know, and ask him all sorts of questions. Um, Cause he's just an amazing and he see him and his wife are amazing people. And um, I follow them on social media and I'm just like in awe with everything they do. But anyway, um, Ricky kid, when he came out, he immediately, immediately like got to work because there's so many people wrongfully convicted and he knows it. And he just wanted to, um, make a difference and so one of the things he did was the i am um, we are resilience um challenge where you uh i forget exactly what it was there was t-shirts involved and stuff like that but you know that was pretty cool that eric cozy joke eric cozy was one of those people i felt like that if it was good and wholesome and helped another human being he was all for it especially with wrongful convictions you know if you came to him with anything he would support it like that you know what i mean so um so there's that and then um he loves stacy seabrook's music he loves stacy seabrook's music I like Stacey Seabrook's music, but yeah, then there's Don King. Here's a uh, Sydney. Um, I'm not sure what her last name is, but her name is Life's Good, and she's on Facebook. I follow her on Facebook too. He did an interview with her. Her brother was murdered 
And that was for Mammothon. He was big on the Mammothon thing too. He he really really enjoyed doing Mammothon. So yeah, and he had this sign here. That sign that I showed you guys, Paul Capaldi, he had that sign and he took it everywhere he went. And he always constantly took pictures of him wearing that sign, or not wearing, but holding that sign wherever he went. And he, uh, so he went to a lot of places and uh, that sign is kind of iconic. He went to, um, he went to rallies with it. He went to all sorts of places, this sign. Yeah, he took it everywhere he went and he would whip it out with whoever he was with and and show it off. He was just such a big and profound supporter for the cause and for their freedom. And he did a lot of amazing things like that. Um But yeah. So yeah, a lot of beautiful people out there and in heaven. Yes, absolutely. I just also want to say um, another supporter I found out a few days ago. Um, she also had passed away a few days ago. Um, I don't know if people really knew her. Um, her name was Chess. Uh, let's see if I can say it correctly. With my Cheshire Mercury on YouTube. I won't say her actual real name because I don't want to dox her or anything. But um, she was. Uh, I didn't. She was another person that I interacted with here on the YouTube streets. She seemed very nice. Um, we were friends on Facebook. Um, she seemed like a really awesome person, and um, I just want to extend my condolences to her and her family. To her family, um, it kind of took me off guard a couple of like it was like a day or two ago when I found out that she passed. And uh, another really awesome supporter, you know. I uh, a lot of supporters, I guess. Have, uh, I guess that's life, though, right? But, um, there was something Linda told me. Maybe I'm mistaking this in my head, but I did want to say this one last thing about Eric Cozy is that Eric Cozy was a supporter of supporters as well. And I think she he was a big inspiration to Linda like that. And I think that's something very important to, to do. You know, we, we all don't have to be best friends or, or get along like that. But um, just, you know, I, I do support what other supporters do um, as far as their campaigns and stuff like that. Whether they want me to be involved in it or not, like I'll always be 100% for Brendan. And if it's positive and helps Brendan, then I'm for it, you know. And that's something that I feel like I learned through Eric Cozy. So, thank you for that, Eric Cozy. You were an inspiration to us all. And that being said, um, yeah. That said, it threw me off guard. Every time somebody goes, it throws me off guard, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody has a, a good positive day. Let's do something nice for Eric Cozy in remembrance of him. And for Cheshire Mercury and all the other people we've lost along the way. Let's do something positive for Brendan or Steven or for your, for your community even, uh, for your family, for yourself. Do something do something beautiful and loving for, and put that vibe out there for them. Because they're not here to do that. Mm -hmm. 
anymore. Um, so I'm starting to get choked up, so I'm going to go. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'll be uh, back later tonight with Linda and Pete for Positively Brendan, so I hope to see you all there. And God bless everybody. And let's keep let's keep doing amazing things for for everybody out there. <laughs>